Jacksonville and Fredericktown. Tonight, the Redbirds hosting the Freddies, leading 14 to 10 at the half. Fredericktown picks up two quick scores in the third quarter. Fullback Bill Grubhoff capped off a nine-play, 29-yard drive, taking it in from the four-yard line. His second touchdown of the night. The Freddies go up 21 to 10. On their next possession, the Freddies mark 66 yards in 12 plays. Grubaugh gets the call on eight of the 12 plays, scoring here from the four-yard line. Fredericktown goes on to beat the Redbirds 35 to 10. Now let's check the football scoreboard. To tell Fredericktown coach Joe Tracy from his players. Well, that's unless the baby-faced coach is talking business. Tonight, his Freddies responded by scoring 22 straight on the 7-0 Cardington Pirates. Capping an 18-play, 8-minute drive, quarterback Brad Mass takes it in from a yard out. And then in the second quarter, three plays after recovering a fumbled punt, Bill Grubaugh pounds it in from two yards out. At that point, the Freddies are up 14 to zip. They'd had another TD before the half. The Freddy defense would limit the Pirates to only eight points tonight, winning on homecoming, 22 to 8. Our second game. Very good. Rivals any school in the big city. You know, they, they're hungry. They wanted it. And uh, this is why we're having such a great season. They never dive him and pull the ball throughout. You understand? Go 10 0 to win the MSC and state playoffs is what really we've been preached to about. And we're just, you know, we've reached all these goals and now we're going to see how far we can go. It's kind of a scary thought. I mean, you go out and and give it your best every play because, I mean, you know, it might be your last game. This would be something that, you know, would get our town recognized. Success is not new to the Fredericktown Freddies. Nice job, nice job. In 50 years of playing football, they've had 37 winning seasons. But this is the most successful team yet. The only other time a Fredericktown team has been to the state playoffs was three years ago when this group of seniors were freshmen. They had a seat on the bench, the best seat in the house, to watch their team lose. So go ahead, Marsh. That's it. I'm just going to come back here. Cover three, cover three. I'm just going to sell it right here. The next year, Joe Tracy took over the program, and they started on the long road back to the playoffs. Well, when we went as freshmen, it was quite an experience just to, you know, feel that, you know, excitement that was there. And we really worked to get back to that spot and feel that excitement again. Now the trip is almost through. The journey they began together, they'll finish together. I think our team unity is probably our strongest suit. You know, we got a lot of kids that hang together, and uh, we don't have any cliques or anything like that. We're just all, we're all the Freddies. Clark Donnelly, WSYX, Channel 6. Freddies will have to dispose of once beaten Warren Kennedy in the semifinals tomorrow night at Fawcett Stadium in Canton. According to quarterback Brad Matt, who's passed for more than 1,250 yards, this is not the first time the Freddies have set goals for themselves this year. We set uh, three goals to be MSC champs and go 10-0 and, and go to the playoffs, you know. And, you know, they always say to set your goals high, and we set them kind of high and went after them, you know, and we had a lot of experience, so it helped out a lot. Now in his third year as head coach, Joe Tracy, who graduated from Warren Kennedy in 1976, says the big reason the Freddies are 12-0 is because of the guys in the trenches. Our offensive line has done a terrific job. That's the reason probably why we're so successful. Uh, we have been a ball control team. We've kept the ball away from other defenses. And, uh, I mean, we're averaging 365 yards a game total offense. And a big reason that's our offensive line. They've just done a terrific job for us all year. Eight of the 12 starters go both ways, including 5-foot, 8-inch, 190-pound fullback Bill Grubaugh, who's gained more than 1,700 yards. I think I just try to run low to the ground and... Instead of going around people, I just try to run through them. I'm not a great speed demon, so I've got to try to run through people and around them. Win, lose, or draw. It's been a year the fantastic Freddies and their faithful followers will long remember.